hello youtube welcome back to my channel here i go again with a new video look at my dill duster i just removed someone's set and i am removing mine that's why it's all dusty um so you guys all you guys are gonna see in this video is <clears throat> me doing a soak off so this is my once every year soak off to be honest <laughs> I don't know when was my last soak off. I think I recorded my last soak off. And I want to say it's been over a year. But I don't know. Maybe you guys can look back into all the videos and see when was my last soak off. And you can comment down below if you've seen it. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I just woke up. I'm kind of stuffy. I'm doing orders right now. Um, I'm currently with one or two orders. I am behind three days. So I'm going to have to pay... Um, a little more so they can get their order ASAP. Um, what else am I doing right now? And this voiceover. <laughs> so right now I'm using my 4XC Curve Carbide Bit. I did sharpen it a little before I used it. Um, what else? Um, I cannot file all the way down to the clear layer. Just because my this last set I did, I did not do clear underneath. I did straight, you know nude onto my bare nail so i was so basically i would be forced to do a soak off um in this video oh my god so the reason why i'm showing you those two bottles was because when i did my soak off um on my right hand why did i not realize that i was using brush cleaner the whole time i was like girl you use brush cleaner to soak off so i was like i'm just gonna use the same thing for this hand because it worked so well so for this hand i am using brush cleaner mixed with acetone like pure acetone and it was a different type of soak off let me tell you it was weird um it wasn't like like how do i explain it with the um with me soaking off with the brush cleaner it made everything more feel like rubbery like it came off in bigger chunks not like smooth like when you just use acetone but i was just surprised it really took it off really well but next time i'll just use acetone pure acetone i was like let me do the same thing i did see if there's any difference it took the same amount to soak off to be honest um <clears throat> so now i see yeah i don't know i'm just weird like that <laughs> But yeah, I'm I'm not sanding all the way down. I'm sanding as much as I can without burning my nail. I'm using 20 RPMs with this carbide bit. Um, I will be cutting them down super, 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 super short. Literally where I have no free edge. That's just how I like my nails to be when I do fresh sets. So I'm just cutting them all the way down. Look at my nail dust collector. It's bothering me now since someone mentioned it in a video that they wanted to wipe my dust collector off. <laughs> mm. And I'm drinking a coffee and kombucha. Um, You guys, you should try this Koei kombucha. Um, It says it's kombucha only better. My favorite flavor is the watermelon one says it has 25 calories per can but it doesn't taste like your regular kombucha and it's funny because their slogan is kombucha without the weird <laughs> mm. so yummy um so before i start doing the soak off i'm just gonna clean my dust collector off look at all the dust this is from another set and me that's crazy that's hella dust Oh my god, imagine how much dust is in my vacuum. I'm not going to show you guys yet. I'm going to wait a few months till I need to um, clean my vacuum from the inside. But I clean it every six months, to be honest. Because I'm just cleaning up the same dust. I always use my vacuum every day because, you guys, let me just say this. How do a lot of you girls keep your station's dust Free. are you guys doing like one set every other day or what because my nail tables cannot stay clean cannot stay dust free and look at my my glass top 
it's already looking ugly it's already all scratched up it's already disgusting um but whatever so i'm using um cotton rounds to do this so you see me putting the brush cleaner and some acetone and folding it and you guys already know how to do soak off right <laughs> let me put a napkin because i was getting the liquid everywhere but i never tried this cotton round thingy like this but it helped me just because whenever i do started to wrap um the foil when i used to do soak off before the cotton will move everywhere and it wouldn't be on the nail so that's why i'm doing this right now because i was like oh this makes the cotton stay right at my finger doesn't move slide around um and yeah what else can we say about a soak off you guys um i think i had the foils on for like 15 minutes i think the most all together the soak off took about yeah like about 15 minutes or so then you're gonna see me prep my nails for new sets i'm gonna prep my nails in this video also no <clears throat> let me let me be on schedule you guys know i go all over the place when i'm talking in these videos but right after when, oh my goodness jesus christ i don't know how to talk let me get it myself okay once i'm done applying these foils i'm going to start brainstorming for my next set so you guys i really want to practice and get better at doing nail art you know drawing characters drawing things painting things on nails you guys know it's a smut it's a much smaller surface i think it's hard i feel like my lines aren't crisp i feel like but practice makes perfect so my next set is gonna be um i think i'm gonna do a three-part video because um after this video so right now we're just figuring out what i'm gonna do while my nails are soaking i'm looking at glitters i'm looking at colors i do want pink i do want pink nails um for valentine's day obviously my last set was a valentine's day set but this one is gonna be more valentine's day-ish because it's gonna be pink and i am in love with what i decided to go with you're gonna see um right now i'm still brainstorming debating i just got these foils from amazon um i need to start doing my description boxes because you guys know i i don't have i mean it's not that i don't have enough time to edit these videos the way i want i'm just not creative enough to edit the videos to be honest i'm just i just want to get them up here um you know all this stuff but um it's just a lot a lot a lot so i'm i was even looking at these foils i kept looking at this pink right i was like something about this pink is grabbing my attention and i decided to swatch it on the towel just to see the color and i was like ooh. but then i'm like but it's too dark but it's kind of giving me what i want but not really so i ended up deciding and then um to mix it with white and making a lighter pink just because i wanted a specific pink you guys i didn't want i don't look at my dumb ass why did i do that <laughs> that was an accident <laughs> um let me see what color is that because i forgot the name of it um I'm, I'm over here trying to do orders while I'm talking and doing the voiceover. This color is called Spare Me a French Quarter from OPI Powder Collection. I mixed it with Optic White. Oh, excuse me. I had the burp. So I mixed it with Optic, a bunch of Optic White. Um, then I mixed some of this. So, I don't know, you guys. Whenever I get to brainstorming and making colors and it's just going, I'm not really having a plan in mind. I'm just, I end up mixing a bunch of different colors sometimes when I'm about to do my nails just because I'm, I'm all over the place. I want everything. If I could do my nails every week, I would. Like, 
I get so bored of color right away. And what sucks is that I use colored acrylic, so it just takes longer to do. But I'm over here like debating the colors I'm gonna use. This is usually what I do when I'm about to do a set for myself. I'm just looking at colors, looking at glitters. Um, so far I like the nude and that pink. And then I wanted some glitter like this, but this glitter I grabbed was lavender. I was like, no. And then I got this glitter and I was like, ooh, perfect. So I ended up mixing some of this pink. I was just trying to see how it looked on top of that pink. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a glitter mix. <clears throat> so I mixed glitter. I mixed clear. I mixed um, the mix I did. So this is clear. Yeah, this is a clear. Speed clear at that. Um, then I mixed um, the mix I did. I put some of that in there. Then I still added some of the darker pink. Yeah, once I mixed that, I ended up adding some of this pink. And you know, I'll just be, I don't know, you guys. I Even this, this voiceover, I'm all over the place. I didn't mix it right. I just mixed it like randomly. And I was happy with that. I was like, okay, we got our color. We got our glitter. We got our nude. Three, three colors only. But I was like, maybe it needs a little more clear. <laughs> so, uh, you see? Damn. A lot of people say I have ADHD, which I don't know what that really means. And I'm like, um, is it because I'm the type of person that may talk about one thing and switch right over to, oh, I forgot to do this. And then I keep going on the conversation and then later on be like, oh, look, that's pretty. And then I'll have a conversation and be like, why her hair like that? <laughs> or then continue conversation and be like, oh, remember this, this, and that? And I'm just all over the place, you guys. That just happens to me. What can I say? <laughs> but I'm over this voiceover already. I don't, I'm running out of things to do. This video is just a my once a year soak off, my nail brainstorming for my NUX nail set. You're going to see my nail prep. My nail prep simplified, you guys, since. Um, and I notice it gives me the same. I don't got to do no. I just remove shine, go around and room with an extra cuticle with a diamond bit. Um, one day I'll do a detailed um, video on my nail prep. It's My nail prep is easy. Man, I don't do none of that extra shit. But... One day I'll do it. I have to have someone though that doesn't have any nails or that is willing to do soft off for me. Um, what else, you guys? What else? Um, you're gonna see me apply my nail tips. I have those nail tips available on the website. Um, what else? Mm -mm -mm -mm. And yeah, and that's it. That's all I have for this video. So this video is just a soak off. Me brainstorming for my next set applying prepping no prep and um applying tips that's it oh you see you see what i'm talking about in this video i actually show you a product from organic nails it's called soft tip so whenever i want to blend nail tips two natural nails don't know why you guys i get nervous to blend the tip from natural nails to the nail tip or whatever because there's no acrylic on the nail bed i'm so used to having acrylic on the nail bed when i applied nail tips so since this is a fresh set my nails are bare have no acrylic is my natural nail I already re removed shine. I don't know why. I get this weird anxiety or fear to blend the nail tip to the natural nail. Don't know why. <laughs> you know what? That's just me. I don't know. I just have this weird, weird, cringy feeling to blend a nail tip to natural nail. Cause just because I'm so used to having um, acrylic on the nail bed. It's just me. 
So I use this product called Soft Tip, which what it does is melts the nail tip in a way. So you apply a little bit of that liquid at the free edge and then just use a hand file. And that's it. It makes the, it softens the tip, I guess. And then you could just file the nail tip to the natural nail bed. Oh, and then I was like, why am I using this rough ass nail file on my nail? on my natural nails and then my nail table was all over the place and i was like let me put this stuff away it's stressing me out let me get this out the way and then i was like why am i using this real fast nail file then i switched over to my 180 100 grit nail file but hey guys when i'm by myself i do some weird shit uh, i don't know if anyone gets it but i do <laughs> so here i'm gonna prep my nails I'm just removing my dead skin around my cuticles, removing all that cuticle off my nail bed. I get a lot of cuticle, you guys, just because I work a lot in water. I do nails. So it makes my fingers and hands feel like callousy, like my skin feels thicker, to be honest. So I got to put a lot of lotion before going to bed because... My hands be dry being in soap and water all day and alcohol and hand sanitizer and yeah you know that's what us hairdressers oh my that this little finger felt weak for some reason i couldn't hold it straight it just felt weak so i'm just removing all this dead skin I don't know, my, my my pinky and my ring finger were actually kind of like cold too. Like they felt kind of weak. But I don't know. Then whenever I do do a soak off, I never use a medium grit to remove the shine. Um, This hand, my left hand actually had a lot of acrylic still on the nail bed. So I am going to be filing some of it off still with the sanding band. This is a 180 grit sanding band. So I try to use fine grits um, to prep the nails whenever I do soak offs. Just because, you know, anything um, from the new growth up basically has already been filed once or twice before and don't want to file it a third time. That's why I only do um, soak offs once a year, you guys because i don't want to keep finding my natural nail. i was surprised all my nails were really strong to be honest they didn't feel flimsy or you know how sometimes when you um touch your nails you can feel if it's weak or not mines were still pretty good except my ring finger my ring finger felt a little uh, flimsy where i was like do i really want to put a nail on this finger but i can't be without nails i've been wearing nails since i was 15 and been permanently wearing them for 12 years now maybe 13 years where i don't ever have bare hands i will never have bare hands let me just say even if i have, have babies i will never have bare hands my nails may go shorter but not completely off <laughs> i'm just saying i'm just saying so here i'm gonna apply my nail tips um you'll see the product that i was talking about soft um soft tip after I apply the nail tips, I know one of my nails I applied Cricut that I took it off. Didn't show in the video, I think, but I'm done with this voiceover, you guys. I'm really, I'm, li I'm literally done because I need to get these orders out before the USPS office opens. I need to package them up. I need to go pick up more UPS boxes. I need right before my next appointment, my first appointment, I need to have all this done. And I still have to go to the beauty supply store. I ran out of acetone. And I need um, acetone, neck strips. Um, I need to buy more butterfly clips. Because I don't know. They always disappear on me. <laughs> I need to buy more combs. And what else do I need to get? And a gel top coat. Because I ran out. Well, I do have gel top coat. But I don't know. I got to go, you guys. I'm, I'm rambling. I'm going all over the place. And some of y'all may be irritated. But I don't care. But bye. Okay, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See ya.
Slightly, so my pinky glued them in because I'm not able to stick out. Because when I'm finding, when I'm trying to blend my nail tip to natural nails, I get scared. I don't know why. 